Being a child star isn't easy. While some end up with lifelong fame, others get lost along the way and never find their way back. Once upon a time, these child stars had it made. It seemed like the only direction they could go in was up. But then life happened, and they instead faded into the background. Jonathan Lipnicki Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, you couldn't turn on a family film without seeing Jonathan Lipnicki on your screen. His roles in blockbuster hits like Jerry Maguire and Stuart Little catapulted him into superstardom. And don't even get us started on The Little Vampire. But not everything was going well for the star. There was a lot of, you know, bullying I dealt with and um, I was definitely dealing with a lot of, uh, and I still to this day, it's a battle, you know, anxiety and depression. In 2017, Lipnicki revealed on Instagram how bullying led to him ultimately leaving the spotlight. I was told I was a has-been and would never book a job again. I was made to feel like garbage every day of middle school to the point where I had a panic attack every night before school because I wondered how I would get through the next day. It was humiliating. But the actor told E! News that same year that he's managed to quell his attacks with the help of extracurricular activities and therapy, so there's still a chance his career could get back on track in the near future. Fingers crossed. Kyla Pratt when she was cast as a nerdy preteen in Dr. Doolittle, Kyla Pratt got her big break. The movie was a commercial success and helped springboard her into starring roles in The Proud Family and One on One, but she just couldn't manage to build on top of her success. After the Dr. Doolittle sequels weren't exactly successful, she decided to take a break from the spotlight to focus on building a family, but did so entirely in private. I, had a, I was doing everything huge, it's just that I just asked people to respect my privacy and not post pictures, yes. and then I'd, I'd tell the public when I felt like it. Like. She opened up about her decision to focus on family life in a 2014 interview with Ebony, telling the publication, I'm all about your mindset, being focused, staying positive, being optimistic, and knowing that these are all aspects of my life that I love and enjoy. I have to nurture each of those relationships and give those relationships a great amount of time. She could be gearing up for a major comeback, though, as she starred in a play adaptation of the 1996 cult classic Set It Off in March 2018, which debuted to favorable reviews. Andrew Keegan Teen heartthrob Andrew Keegan was everyone's man crush Monday before it was even a thing. But these days, instead of attracting fans, he's attracting converts. Keegan leads a spiritual movement called Full Circle, based in Venice Beach, California. Their reported goal is to promote individuality rather than societal standards. He explained to Vice, I very much speak what comes through while in the collective. We create a resonance of balance and equality of the crew. When you feel those chakras aligned, there's guided messaging coming in. If there is something of spiritual ego within that, it must not exist. He isn't afraid to poke fun at his new life, however, as evidenced by his 2017 appearance in Hollywood Darlings. Do you really believe that Joey from 10 Things I Hate About You is going to take us on a spiritual journey? Tatiana Ali Thanks to her role as Ashley Banks in the hit TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Tatiana Ali was poised for superstardom back in the 90s. Her time on the show even launched her into a successful singing career. But when the show finished, the demand for Ali dwindled, so she opted to pursue education instead. She graduated from Harvard University in 2002 with a degree in Afro-American history and government. After taking an interest in politics, Ali went on to travel the United States for Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign. Ali also re-emerged for BET's series Second Generation Wayans in 2013, but her comeback was cut short, as the show was cancelled after the first season. However, she appears to be doing just fine without the spotlight these days. She married Stanford University English professor Von Raspberry in 2016, and the pair welcomed their first child that same year. Jaleel White after Family Matters wrapped in 1998, Jaleel White's career faltered. Although he returned to television just a year later for UPN's comedy series Grown Ups, the show received poor reviews and was cancelled just a year later. Fans presumably just didn't want to see White star as anyone other than Steve Urkel, the googly-eyed nerd that pretty much stole every scene in Family Matters. Even so, White made it clear that he wouldn't be picking up another role that was similar to the one that made him famous, telling a reporter when the show wrapped, "'If you ever see me do that character again, take me out and put a bullet in my head and put me out of my misery. White once again attempted a television comeback with 2017's Me, Myself, and I, but that series was also cancelled after just one season. Frankie Muniz Malcolm in the Middle star Frankie Muniz was forced to take a hiatus from Hollywood after suffering from an unexplainable string of strokes. In a 2017 interview with People, the actor described his health struggles. First, I lose my peripheral vision, and I can see people but I can't recognize them. I can see words but I can't tell what they say. Then I start going numb. It's a gross feeling, but I know now when it's going to come. I usually go lay down and wait for it to be over. Noting that he'd had nearly every test performed by neurologists, he continued, I have no answers as to why it happens. I got so tired of trying to find an answer that I don't think I'll search for an answer anymore. I've accepted it. The former child star hasn't let it damper his dreams of getting back to work, though. And with such a positive outlook, who knows? He could be back on the big screen in no time.